Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the 120 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Yeah, now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so this is actually take two of Keto on the Couch, take episode two. 14. Yes, we attempted to go outside and tape. Yeah, it. you'll notice that Rachel's hair is soaking wet. I look like a crazy person. I'm very sorry for that. However, I have cowgirl hat head combined with rain dawn. Yeah, so we went to Sprouts today and we were on our way home and we were like, it's a gorgeous day out. Let's grab the camera. Let's film Keto on the couch at the park. So we got up to the park. We set up the camera. We got maybe a quarter of a way in. Got chased by iguanas. Got chased by iguanas. Chased by ducks. Chased by ducks. And then the forced gump rain came. It was ridiculous. It was down rain. It was up rain. It was sideways rain. And finally, I was just like, I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, we tried to keep going through it. And we got home. We finally, it was pouring so bad. We were worried about the camera getting wet. It so we were crazy. like, we ran home. We we're like, okay, well, we'll just pick up where we left off. It would be kind of funny to all of a sudden be landing but on the But we look like we're in a dark haunted house. And we were, yeah, and the, the audio was so bad because even with our microphones, it was it was ridiculous. We sounded like a McDonald's, like when you the drive through screen. So, so we had a great week. It was, and I think that's why we're so excited to be outside because like the whole week long, it's even been like, you know, sunny. I mean, chances of rain, but it never rained. Right. So we got like lulled into this false sense of security. But it was actually good that it didn't rain because your mom and sister. Yeah, my mom and sister in town. and Were visiting. They were visiting and it never rained. Hey, and Terry. Everybody got to enjoy the pool and the outside. And yeah, because you know what happens when you usually vacation. You go and you float around in the pool and it's like something you don't normally do. And you wind up getting third degree sunburn. And then you can't wear pants or a shirt for a week after your vacation. And so true. Especially you, you end up like looking like a lobster and so. have like bathing suit strap marks and so at least with it being like a little overcast nobody got burnt nobody got really so burnt. i'm thankful for that it was hot but it wasn't like overly sunny it was warmish yeah but it was it was a really good week i mean my mom and my sister like you said were in town and they came down for caleb's graduation that was so fun yeah so our third child graduated all of them graduated with honors i'm so excited so they're I'm so all proud. on to their like new lives or the next the next, next chapter ch chapter of their life and it, it's a new chapter for us too yeah like, thank you guys for being here to like, you know, be encouraging during this, this new chapter of our lives, because this is, this is a whole different chapter for motherhood and fatherhood for us. Yeah. We've got all adult children. We're starting to, it's going to be you and me, kid. Wow. I hope you're uh, ready to just hang out with me and no kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm excited. I mean, it's a little bit sad. I mean, nobody needs me to fill up their sippy cup anymore, but yeah. you know, I I'm excited about what's on the horizon for them. And I'm sure that there'll be like unique mothering things I'll still be able to do. Like my job's not over. They'll be my babies till they're 90, right? Yeah. Now I will say this. I, I kind of missed filming this week because we did all of the filming so that you could, you guys could have like videos every day this week. We filmed all of those that you saw this week. We saw we filmed them last week. So there's no, no, I don't know what we're gonna say. Yeah. There's no. So I kind of missed it though. I enjoy filming these for these guys. I do for you guys. For them. From the wise guys, like these yeah. guys, us guys and you guys. <laughs> But it was really good. I mean, we didn't do a whole lot of pictures for our food because it was so busy, but we had a really good food week. Yes. I mean, we'll talk more about it when we do our cut down to KetoCon yeah. like weekly wrap up. But I will say that we stuck to plan and we did a lot of food prep, which we did I a think lot of food prep helped us survive a week with house guests because we have had guests before where they were not keto and we were, you know, but we were never trying to do a cut in yeah. the middle of it and you know 
everybody else's food looks so much better when you're in the middle of a cut. Yep. So I was really proud of us for, for sticking with yeah, it. Yeah, and we did some good stuff. So we, we made the broccoli casserole because my mother and sister wanted to try it. That Fan was favorite. great. So everybody had something to eat for breakfast every single day. Mm -hmm. We smoked a brisket the first day they got here. Yep. And we've had brisket. Like there's always been like leftover brisket because it was a big one. It was like Which a 15 pound brisket. good on salad or? Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's our steak for dinner. <gasps> Let me go turn off that beeper, otherwise it's gonna be beeping the entire time. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so. Now I'm gonna get hungry because like just thinking, thinking about, about steak. steak. Yeah. So what else did we do? So we did the brisket. Um, you made two meatses by yourself. By watching your video. By watching my it. videos. My sister was like, ha she had to watch your video to make it. And I'm like. I have to refresh myself. You know, it's the same thing. Like I have to, no matter how many times I've been someplace, I have to use MapQuest or Google Maps in order to get there. And it's the same thing with recipes. If I don't kind of watch the recipe, we you don't made, know where we're going to end up. You made chicken salad and you put some unique ingredients. We're going to do a so easy Rachel can do it. Because I actually came up and with And it was that. Rachel's recipe. So that should be up sometime next week. Probably. Are you guys so proud? Like, I'm so I excited. I am really proud of you for that one. No, it was all cold ingredients. Doesn't matter. You came up no, with like, some cooking. good combination of ingredients for a really, really tasty chicken salad. I'm so proud. And it was so easy to make. Thank you. So what else did we have aside from that? Well, we went out to dinner. No, but I'm, what else did we meal prep? I'm trying to think of what else we meal prep. Oh, we made the meat layer oh, lasagna. Yeah. And now, even my mother did not know that it wasn't pasta noodles. She was like, what do you mean there's no pasta noodles in this? What do you mean there ain't no meat? Like from <laughs> my big fat Greek wedding. I love that movie. Yeah. But um, yeah, we did something different. So we used yep. an, an herb roasted chicken it breast. Was a, yeah, an herb encrusted chicken breast that we got from Penn Dutch. That it added a nice layer of flavor. And the other thing was Penn Dutch started carrying a cheese. It was a white cheese. I want to say it was like a provolone base. Yeah, I'm not quite sure because it wasn't as strong as a provolone. But, but it was infused with green onion. Oh, it was so good. And that was really nice because, you know, in the olden days... We would, um, when we were grounding our ground beef, uh, grounding our ground beef, browning our yep. ground beef, I would always add onion. And yep. now we don't add onion because of the carbs. So it was nice to have that like oniony flavor. Yeah. Throughout. And it wasn't overly carb. It was like, you know, one carb for an ounce. So, I mean, it was yeah. really good. So what we ended up doing was we did the two layers of chicken and one of the one of the layers of cheese that we put in between it was that cheese. And then the other, the good. other layer had the provolone. So we had like five different kinds of cheeses in that. It was so good. It was good. And I still can't get over the fact that um, what a nice presentation it makes because you don't use so much tomato sauce anymore. You know how you would used to cut your lasagna? It was perfect. And it would like half of my portions pouring out back into the pan. Right. We don't have that anymore. It, it makes a real pretty presentation. Yeah. Just as a side effect to the fact that it's not so wet. I love that. I'm trying to think of, they were, I feel like there was some other stuff we meal prepped. But. I have to share our my hibachi story, though, from us going out to Yeah, eat. so we did, for Caleb's graduation, we went out for like a hibachi. We have this place called Chow, Chow Time, Time here by us, and it's like $13. Super cheap. On, for a dinner nighttime, and they have everything. They have like American, Chinese food, Japanese food. I mean, it's just really good, but we did really good. Rachel only ate sashimi, no rice. Nope. And we bypassed all the Chinese food and the Japanese food and the American food. And I stuck to just the hibachi and I had some sashimi. Mm -hmm. And the, the hibachi couldn't get any better because they have like beef, chicken, shrimp, and all the kinds of and veggies. Didn't have and I have just, a ton of veggies. Nope. I just loaded up the meat, put just a little bit of broccoli and just told the guy, cook it up and add extra butter. Right. And so I did a plate. I did eat. You know, quite a bit of sashimi. I love that. Like, especially the salmon. That's but like you did good. Favorite. You didn't do carbs. I don't I even think it. you exceeded on your calories, even though we said we weren't going to count Tuesday. No, but it was good. But I have to tell you this. This was hilarious. So hibachi, if you've ever, you know, done it before, is you plate up like your meat and vegetables. Or, In this place, yeah. And noodles or rice, if that's what, you know, you're doing. And you just hand your plate to the chef and he puts it onto the hot griddle and like, you know fries it up he's he, that's where they have those like they're moving their knives funny and stuff like that and um so we're waiting in line and there's like four of us and he's putting all the plates on and on to the grill and the last person he dumps it out without looking at it and it's a salad 
someone brought their salad up to like so it's like lettuce and there's like black olives rolling around the griddle and the guy just like looks up at the guy like this was a mistake right he looks at the customer like you didn't mean to do this and the customer is like you know giving him the look that like no i stand by by my decision to cook my salad please stir fry my salad now part of the problem was the hibachi guy spoke zero English. Right. Well, I don't think the customer did either. He's asking you, like, what sauce do you want? And you have to, like, hold up fingers. You're like, number three. Huh? Number three. Number three. three. So, um, so yeah, there was definitely a language barrier going on. But, I mean, they could read each other's faces. And then that one guy was like, nope. Toss that lettuce up and, like, let's fry it up. And so as soon as he put his spatula in it, it was like a goop. On the end of his spatula, because it was like cheese, right, and all kinds of things just getting like all over it. So you could tell he was like very frustrated. So he went and got like an extra spe- set of spatulas so that he could like cook everybody else's that had like a normal like hibachi dinner, and then this guy with the salad. And and so yeah, he finished it up. But I mean, it was a goop when he went to go put it on a plate. It was like. And I mean, he never broke eye contact with Your the guy. story of, of that guy, the hibachi, reminds me of what happened to me because I went up to the hibachi before you and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting for my food and I'm waiting for my food and there's this lady next to me who's also waiting for hers who has a side plate because the, the hibachi guy is cooking up her food and then she's got another whole plate mm-hmm. of like Chinese food and stuff that she picked yeah. up and she's just sitting there standing on line eating it with her fingers <laughs> and ate an entire plate standing there in the middle of the restaurant waiting for the hibachi and I'm like I have this to is going to take a few minutes go sit down at the enjoy table enjoy yourself first of all go enjoy yourself second of all it's kind of disgusting that you are standing here like in the middle of the restaurant like basically just picking up all your food with your fingers and then grabbing everything I have to say that is a big pet peeve of mine is people that are like playing one for you, one for my plate, you know, in in buffet. Like yeah. if you're there and you're like, oh, they're like, oh, does this taste oh, good? Oh, there's nothing worse than that when they're grabbing the food off the buffet. I mean, I guess a scabby Band-Aid would be worse, but <laughs> it's up there. Like, please don't eat. Just sit down and finish it and you can come back. Like, they'll make more food. That's right. how a buffet works, you know? Yeah, but. so that was all a great week. And we're going to talk more on our... Countdown, a cut down with Keto Con yeah. um, video. With which, Watch Autumn Keto. With Watch Autumn Keto, which reminds me, like, we're going to obviously film the next episode of that before they see this. But yeah. hey, for next week, guys, let us know do you have any questions you want us to ask Autumn? Like, yeah. do you have any challenge questions? Because we have to present her with some questions on, like, you know, how did you do for the week? So do you have any questions that we can kind of pass on and we she can answer them for you guys on this video? Yeah, something that you were interested in finding out. Yeah, so let us know. And the only other thing I wanted to say about that was you did, even though my mom was here, mm-hmm. you got your five miles bike riding in every day. I High five. Like, it, we, you have to be a little bit creative, but again, that's the magic of the bicycle yep. that you can just, like, leave when you have, like, an opening. So if they were, um, you know, answering emails or they had to take a phone call or, hey, I'm going to go wash my clothes or something, you know, I didn't want to be rude and be like, hey, see you later, you know, on family time. But I was able to just... You got it in. It, whether it was the morning or nighttime, it was and- all- we got a bicycle, or your mother got a bicycle, and I put it together. She got a three-wheel bicycle. I put picture up on her Instagram. Yeah, like, I'm going to put, put it up right here. So she got a bicycle because she needed to also accommodate... Her dog. Boaz, yep. her dog that you guys know. Um, but she has kind of a bad track record on a two-wheel bike. Not This has nothing to do with age. This has to do with, like, balance. She's, she's always been, like... I get my grace from her for sure. So um, I was like, I really don't want you in a two wheeler. And I know a three wheeler may not be as cool. Like you ain't one of the cool kids with the three wheeler, but I don't know. She She's makes enjoying it look that thing. cool. She yeah. really makes it look cool. And Boaz can have his entire pet bed in the back. And he's just having a good old time. Yeah, and I went to get my bicycle cause I don't have a bicycle. And I went to order a bicycle and I found this one that I really, really like. And I was like, okay, I'll order it tomorrow. And I go back on, they're sold out. 
So now I gotta find a different one. Because I, I was gonna get the one like yeah. yours, but the one like yours for the men has really bad reviews. Oh. They're like, it's too short for a man. And like people were like, I bought three of them. They all came scratched and damaged, so I Gracious. can't get that one. So I'm not gonna get oh, that one. Well, that makes so I will find the right one. I think that you're just making this all up because you don't want a matchy matchy. No, bike I me. liked it. It was a good manly Margaritaville bike. Manly and Margaritaville. I know. It doesn't sound right. Same thing. But it, it looked good. Before we go any further, can we please yeah. have a We um, have a giveaway. couple of giveaways. Yeah, let's, let's So we one. have two different things to give away. Do you want to just give them away both now or do you want to do yeah. two different giveaways? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, first we get to do the Outback because I, I feel like we need to do them separately, but we'll do them both. So the first one we have is this Outback gift card. Which I didn't think was going to take place in our from lifetime. From episode 10 of Keto on the Couch, and this is episode 14. So yep. it has taken a while to get this thing given away. But, I know. I'm excited. But we did hit 125 likes. That was what we were asking for was 125 Somebody likes. Somebody is having steak next week for lunch. So I have my iPad. I have a spreadsheet. Let me turn on the screen recorder here. The way we do this is we have a spreadsheet mm -hmm. with everybody's names in it if you're new That's to right. our channel. And this is how we do all our giveaways. And now I just got to find numbers, right? Yep. Numbers. Okay, okay, Outback. So we have a spreadsheet with everybody's names in it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to ask Alexa, I guess, over there. Oop, Hopefully she's loud enough. You perked her interest. Stop listening. She's on. She's like, so we have no. 82 names. 82. 82 names. So let's go ahead and ask Alexa for a random number between 1 and 82. Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 82. Your random number between 1 and 82 is 19. 19. Number 19. So that is Trisha, Trisha Goss. Goss. Well, congratulations, so congratulations, Trisha. Trisha. Uh, now, here's what you have to do, Trisha. You need to um, send us an email yes. to twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Put a link down. And I'll put it right here. Send an email to us with all of your shipping information. We'll send it right out. And I feel like we need to put a little timetable so this thing isn't sitting around even longer. So how about you have a week from the airing of this video? So yeah. you have to contact us so we can send it to you. This is airing on June 10th. I'm having trouble drinking. So by the next, by the next airing of the Keto on Couch, which I would assume is what, the 17th, right? Let's double check the calendar. Yes. So you have until, well, yeah, you have until the 17th. So yeah. I think that's plenty of time to email us your shipping information. Yeah. Okay. And we'll so, get you to Outback. We'll get you to Outback. You want to do the other one now? Or you Don't want to even do the bring other one a friend. Later? Just eat fifty dollars worth of food. Yeah. Just one meal. Do we want to do the other one now, or do you want to do the other one later? No, let's do it now. I'm excited. Okay. So the other one is the Keto Fit Bar. Keto Fit. And we're giving away. This was um, compliments of Keto Fit. They Thank sent you, us Keto, this Keto box Fit bar. to give away. If you haven't seen our review of it, I'll link it right over Rachel's head. This has become one of my favorite bars it now. It's delicious. Terry liked it too. Yeah, my sister loved them. She wanted to take this box, but I wouldn't let her. <laughs> so the Keto Fit Bar, we have 88 entries. 88, 88 that's awesome. 88 entries. So right. you ready? Are so, you recording this? Yes, um, yep, I am still recording it. All right, so Alexa, can I have a random number between one and 88? Your random number between 1 and 88 is 78. 78. 78. Wow, that's all the way at the end. So 78 is going to be Constance Dunlop. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Yeah, I Constance, love Constance is one of our newer subscribers. Yes, congratulations. And she is super supportive, super like on nice. our Facebook family group. And I love her. Yes, so congratulations, Yay. Constance. The same thing for you, Constance. Send us an email to twocrazyketos at gmail.com. And we will send this right out to you, and we're going to do the same thing. You have one week, which I know she's going to – this will be responded, like, within 20 minutes of this video being up. Because Constance awesome. is, like, awesome, and she's always, like, one of the first people that watch our Keto on the Couch on Monday mornings. Yeah. Which I love the fact that we started we putting it up on Monday because I know so many of you guys are off on Mondays. I like that, yeah. And so, so many people have said to us, I'm so glad it's on Monday. It's, like, how I wake up my day. And Thank you, guys, it's for making awesome. us a part of your week. Like, yeah. I love that. We just, we feel so honored and privileged to just be a part of your week. <laughs> yeah. Man. So, Constance, us. you have until the 17th. Otherwise, we're going to give it away to somebody else. 
I don't think that's going to happen. There you go. And don't worry, guys. We actually have one more box to give away. Yeah. But we're not giving it away in this video. No. We're giving it away in another video coming up soon. Yeah. So. Exciting. So, you want to do some comments and stuff? I love comments. So, yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's do our... You're like, mm, what? Let's do uh, our subscriber of the week first yes subscriber of the week i totally forgot yeah so if you are new to our channel every kid on the couch we pick a subscriber of the week it comes from our facebook group facebook so, family yep so if you're new to our channel i'll leave a link down below we have a facebook group it's called two crazy ketos family mm -hmm. right and you can just go over there and you have more access to us. We love being in there, just talking with you guys. Oh my goodness. And the people that are in there are the coolest people on earth. Just kind, loving, supportive people. If you just need some happy in your life. Yeah, people put up like their success stories, their, their progress, recipes, their recipes. Hauls. They talk about their struggles. Yeah, hauls of whatever they've gotten at the store. Hey, deals. Like we just found out somebody put on there about sprouts having 40 percent that's off why we got our car Zevia. keys and got in the car and we we'd never been to sprouts and because somebody put that up there we like found out there was a sprouts only a half hour away from our house we, we didn't even know it and we found all kinds of cool things there yeah so yeah all kinds of support on there so go ahead and join the facebook family group there's no charge or anything no and, and we're on there several times a day yeah i so. just i get encouraged so our subscriber of the week again is coming from our facebook family group and it's lindsay Shruff. Hi, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. And uh, Lindsay's got a bunch of pictures. I'm going to put them up here while I read her comments. Gorgeous girl. Yep. And she wrote, today is my one year ketoversary. Happy ketoversary. In this past year, I've grown so much as a person. I've learned that I really do love myself. Mm. I'm so grateful for this journey that I've started. I started keto weighing 255 pounds and now currently I weigh 200. That is incredible. I still have a lot to lose, but I am so much happier. This group keeps me motivated. So here are some photos of my progress to help keep you motivated. Lindsay, you are so, so awesome. I yes. absolutely love this girl. And um, I think that my favorite part is my, my, first of all, 55 pounds is amazing. That's amazing. That's an incredible, That's an incredible accomplishment. Incredible accomplishment. But I'm telling you, the my favorite line is not a number line in this. It's when she says, I've learned that I really do love myself. It took me a long time. Rachel will cry. tell you like, that. That is beautiful. Most of our marriage, most of my life, like, I didn't care about myself. I didn't love myself. I didn't like the way I looked. I was very down on myself. I and think we so, all go through that yeah. and battle that. And just So that is huge. For you to say that is just, it's really, really beautiful. And I, I really hope that everybody that we come in contact with learns to love themselves because you're precious. God loves you. We love you. And I'm just, I'm glad you're here. I'm yeah. glad you're alive. I'm glad you're on this planet. You make life better for everybody around you. And... Lindsay, I am so glad that, that you get it. Right. That you love yourself. I love that. And you know what I really like about what she wrote in here is where she said that here's her progress pictures to help keep everybody else motivated because yeah. that is why we started the Facebook family group, yeah. right? We really started because like we love talking to you guys and sometimes it's a little bit more difficult just in the comment section of the videos there's a lot yeah. of comments maybe we don't see it or we don't have a lot of room to answer mm -hmm. and you know sometimes i know you guys don't want everybody that watches the video to see it. you right. want it to be a little bit more Strangers. private and so that's why you know we did put that you have to ask for approval so we can make sure it's not just some like company trying to sell you something yeah. or something like that it's not like to try to be exclusive it's just to weed out people who may want to come in and be negative with you guys yeah exactly but that was the whole reason we did it so that we could support you guys and you guys because you guys motivate us like you have no idea yeah so like that was what this was all about and like i love it because i love going in there sometimes we go in there and i see like oh my gosh like i wanted to answer this and like jason's already added like, uh, you know answered it way or, better than we could have. way better so keep it up guys because that's why we started it and that's why you know we love having it yeah it's so. awesome you ready to get some comments yes congratulations okay. again Lindsay. we have a lot of comments good i love comments okay so we have a couple from some of the other videos this week and then i have a lot most of them are from last week's keto on the couch which is really where we always wanted to take the comments for this from right? yeah but you had some from the smoker though yeah so girl. 
Queen Shelley Hughes wrote <laughs> on the smoker on when we we demonstrated the smoker and mm -hmm. you made ribs. Yeah. And she said, remember that that silver skin is actually collagen, and the oh, people pay a lot of money for that off. as a powder, which they do. Yeah. True. So she's like gnawing on it, even if you um, maybe can't eat a lot of it, it's really good for you, which is really, that's absolutely true. But cook it first. Yeah, right? you can cook it first, you people turn it into a powder, you can gnaw on it, but just when you make the ribs, I like taking it off, otherwise you just can't get all that seasoning into the but meat. But that's a good point, I need it for And it like can my be a little hair. tough if you do cook it. I like collagen for like my hair and nails, obviously nothing's helping today's hair, but. I kind of like the wet look. It's crazy. It reminds me of that Eddie Murphy movie, what was it, that, the Stay Glow? Oh, soul glow? Soul glow. You remember that? Like, you think my hair looks like, like I well, should wait, move in? Wait, do we lift up your head? Is it like... You're in the doghouse, sir. Okay. Kelly Colvin on the same Hi, video wrote, great job, Rachel. Thank Joe, you. you are an excellent teacher. You are. She said, he said, she said, you make it seem so less intimidating. I want one now. I love brisket and my husband's favorite is ribs. And he pays $20 a pound at a local barbecue. Yeah. It's, it can be expensive. It is. We went to one meal in Texas, and it was what we get like a half, half a, a rack of ribs. Uh -huh. We got a couple of poppers and a half a pound of brisket, and it was like seventy something dollars. That it was, was ridiculous. Lot. So yeah, so I don't even pay that much for a full fourteen pound brisket. So the initial investment for like a grill is a lot, but over time you're really gonna. I mean, like we were telling my mom. Money. I mean, we cook on that thing almost every single day. And our electric bill is way down from way last down. year. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're not heating up the. We're not heating up kitchen. the kitchen. We're not running the stove. So lots of stuff. Okay, so April Wooten wrote. Hi, April. I love how you both seem to know what each other are saying. My hubby and I are the same way. I found that you just the other day, and I love the information that you share about keto. Thank you. Thank you, April. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, after so long together, we just, I think we just know each other's looks. I mean, sometimes we don't always finish the sentence, but he knows all my looks, like my looks of like, please save me, or I have to poop, we've got to go. Like, he knows. You said we were going to keep this G-rated. Well, everybody poops. That's actually a little kid book. Okay. Everybody poops. <laughs> So, but like, yeah, you know. Sometimes it can be annoying because I know like we can talk over each other because we kind of know what the other person's going to say, but we Like, I know where it. you're going with this. Yeah. But thank you. Thanks, April. Okay, so Constance Dunlop. Hey, Constance, congratulations again. She wrote, this was on our coffee machine one. She said, I have started to love coffee and I own a Keurig, the smaller, the ver the smaller version, mm -hmm. which is so simple. She said, maybe this one will decrease in pricing towards Christmas. This is a good review on the product. Thank you. She said, thank you. Uh, you. They need to make you a sponsor of your channel because I know Rachel is using it every day. Seriously. She's like, I love the way Rachel lit up with three crazy ketos. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I love that thing. We have already been through a couple of pounds of coffee. I, we probably shouldn't say that. I, I seem cra like crazy, crazy. It is really good though. But it's so good. And here's the thing about that. You know, in that video... We talked about, which only went up today, which today is Friday. Speaking of coffee. But we said, we had said that I was making Rachel's on three or four and I wanted to try it on two. So she didn't know. But for the last week, I have been brewing it on a two. And you were like, it was still stronger than any K-Cup. I couldn't believe it because I'd, I'd already Because you thought, kept telling my mom like how flavorful this coffee is. And I really thought a two would be like, come on now. No, I actually want to try a one just to see what it's like. Oh my goodness. But the other thing Can was... Can it even be called coffee at one? So last night, we brewed a pot of coffee at 5 o'clock in the evening. And then my mom had gone out and my sister had gone out. And we drank like one cup and it just sat in there, right? Yeah. And I got up this morning at 6 o'clock to go make a Still pot of coffee. Hot. And I was like, did my sister get up and make a pot of coffee? Because I picked it up. It was full. I forgot we made coffee. And I poured it and I, it was 150 degrees. I couldn't believe 12 it. 12 hours later. I that couldn't believe thermal it. crap like keeps it hot. Yeah. That I was, was like shocked. So we, my sister loved it because she only drinks cold coffee. So she was just taking all that coffee and making, you know, iced coffee with it. Yeah. It was really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Viva J wrote. Hey Viva J. As soon as I heard it grind, I was like, damn, it'll my wife will freak when she's trying to sleep on the weekends. I wonder if I can get a silencer. I, I'm telling you that it revs me up when I hear that sound. I'm like, oop, oop, oop! It's coming! It's coming! Like, I'm in first the smell because I love the smell, and then yeah, my coffee's on the way. And again, you can make it pre-ground. Yeah. So. But no, you don't want to. 
No. Delicious. <laughs> okay, so Jim Kuhn wrote. Hey, Jim. I go to the Goodwill store here, and the shirts that I've never worn before losing 67 pounds, wow. and I got them for 25 cents. His Goodwill's better than mine. And he's like, I got other shirts for a buck 50. I gave all the loose clothes back to the same place. That's nice. He said, plus being an old bald-headed fart <laughs> uh, is not as painful as it was before losing. That is so True. Wow. Were you, are you an old bald headed? Fart? I think so. <laughs> he said, good job to your new graduate. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to his Goodwill. You know what? I, 25 cents? Those are better than our garage sale prices. I hate to tell you, sometimes I can't go to the Goodwill here because they're too pricey. It's like $4 <laughs> a shirt. So that's really good prices. So Sylvia wrote, um, you Hi, both Celia. are fantastic. The content and amount of work you are putting out with the five videos a week is amazing and appreciated. I love her. Most importantly, you listen and read what we say and suggest. That is the best. Yeah, I agree on the bra and the strapless tops. Nope, not happening for me either. I love the taco pie, made it now and enjoying it now, and even my husband wants me to make it for him. Keep those recipes coming. I love sparkling water. Great idea with a review of available brands. Recently, I started adding the true lemon to coconut uh, LaCroix. Mm. And oh my gosh, it tastes like pina colada. Oh, we have to try that. We have to try that. She said, oh yeah, by the way, I love Rachel's t-shirt idea of the chicken butt nuggets. Yep. I need to find somebody that can draw a chicken for me. <laughs> I'm not an artist. Any artists out there? Denise Moore wrote, Hi, oh, Denise. so fun. I love seltzer water. Polar and Schweppes are my faves. Oh, Schweppes. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. I didn't one. even think about them. I've also had two from Aldi's, which weren't half bad. I love your videos a lot. I haven't thought about Aldi's. Yeah, we're going to work on that, like, this week, that video, right? I feel like we're probably going to have to go Lemon Lime. Isn't Lemon Lime I think Lemon be Lime's going to be the best flavor. Yeah. Because there's lots of flavors, but you got to get one that everybody's got. Just a Girl Guillory wrote, Hi, Just a Girl. Hi there, Joe. What are your top four go-to bars? I'm on the road for work during the day, and I want to know your thoughts. Have you tried the Keto Bar by John Hart? You ever tried that? No, I haven't tried the Keto Bar by John Hart. I've honestly a never heard of it. I'm going to have to go look for it. So my top four bars. Okay, well, I actually have five, but if you're on the road, I'm going to give you my top four on-the-go bars. So we're going to have the Perfect Keto Bar, uh, this new, the Keto Fit Bar, okay. the one that we just recently discovered, uh, the Dang Bar. Dang! And then the other one is going to be the Keto Bar, which is like the original Keto Bar. Okay. Um, we have a review of that. I'll leave it over your head. We don't we don't talk about it too much um, just because I like can't trust myself with them. They're that good. They're that good. They're like a candy bar, but they're really shelf stable. So oh, that's, that's why nice. I really like them. Like I love the Kiss My Keto Bar. So Kiss like that's, keto. there really is five, but if I'm on the road... The Kiss My Keto Bar is not one I'm normally going to bring because if it gets below 70 degrees, the inside is fine, but there's that outer shell oh, you and it kind of starts melting and you have to lick the package. So that one's kind of like an at-home bar home. or if I can take it with me somewhere where I'm going to be inside. Yeah, because summer is here. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to eat stuff. And then, of course, we have our keto bricks. Like if I just want, I need some a meal, I take a piece of keto brick with me. I love keto brick. Annette Monte wrote, Hi, Annette. Uh, bubbly, which I assume she's answering, like, what kind of seltzer water we want to have, yeah. right? And um, then she wrote, Dang. Dang. <laughs> LOL, a t-shirt with dang. Heck yes. Yeah. Then she wrote, Clever move in going to the bathroom when you have to get together with yourself. I, I just got to jump out of the situation. I just got to jump out of life for a minute, like disconnect. When Rachel first started doing that, like I was like, I thought something was wrong. I'm like, why are you in the bathroom for depressed? five hours? What's are you happening? okay? I'm like, I, it, this too shall pass. That was my, that's one of my favorite scriptures. But I was really concerned about it. Now I think it's a brilliant move. And it came to pass. I know that the cravings will pass, but I've got to be someplace else as they pass. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a brilliant move. And I mean, I've even done it a couple times where I was just like on a 36-hour fast. I'm like, I don't want to eat. Like, I'll just go sit in the bathtub. Do what you got to do. My Keto Sheen wrote, I, I seriously might. enjoy the energy here. I am happy to be part of this keto family because I do feel the support. Damn. We need a shirt that says dang. I guess dang! we have to get a shirt that says dang. We have to. She said, I ate my breakfast and had my fatty coffee while watching this. I feel like I'm sitting around with good friends that having a great chat. I love her. I look forward to keto on the couch every Monday morning. It is becoming a routine. And this is dishwashing time when I, while I listen to worship music. Aww. She said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift you up. 
I'm gonna I cry. see you crying out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Sorry. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may him may he give you peace. Numbers 6, 24 through 26. Thank you very much. Thank you have you. like really blessed our week and you've blessed our lives. Yes. Honestly, every single one of you watching and subscribed is just like, I don't know, we feel like a renewed purpose in our lives at a time where, you know, like we've said, like a chapter is closing and a new chapter is opening. And we you really, guys are filling that. Thank you for being a part of our lives. We appreciate you. 10 Carb Kim wrote, Hey, 10 Carb Kim. Y'all are so much fun to watch, informative and entertaining. Thanks for the quality of content. I love Rachel's smile. Thank you. My goodness. I was just thinking, Lord, 10 carbs. <laughs> Man, we need to get to be 10 Carb Kims. That'd be awesome. Maria Villarreal wrote, Hi, Maria. I love you guys. Rachel is correct. There is no such thing as a strapless bra. There is not. Girl, none. I feel ya. There is none. It is not a thing. Doll I or L wrote, Hi, doll. rabbits are digging up your lawn. Go get yourselves a pet fox. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm if telling Rabbits start digging. They haven't made it to our lawn, but if they do, that's dinner. They're headed towards our friend Mindy. I noticed it like she lives in our neighborhood and she's in our in our family group. Mindy, they're coming for you. Like they're they're like four houses away from her. You're gonna love this name. Currently picking the perfect name. That's oh my YouTube gosh, name. that's brilliant. Yes, excellent t-shirt idea. Also, something about boobs. Something about boobs, indeed. <laughs> Let's, how about just, there's no such thing as a strapless bra. That's good. Jen Delaney wrote, I just Hi, found Jen. your channel through your collab with Watch Autumn Keto, and I think you all are, Thank are you. you all are as awesome as she is. She is awesome. I don't know. I don't know. The Celta Water Showdown is a fantastic idea. Do you have a soda stream? We used to. Yeah, we did used to. Um, I was spending way too much money on Celta until I bought one, and now I use their fruit drops. It really helps me to get my water in. That's very smart. Yeah, we used to have it, but then the refills got really expensive, so we started just refilling them by ourselves by going and buying dry ice and refilling the container. I know. <sighs> don't even ask. We've done it, it all. It works. Yeah. But we finally just kind of ditched that and started going, we're only going to buy salsa whenever it's on sale and then we'll load up. But I think this is brilliant. It is really brilliant. And I liked adding the fruit drops. And yep. thank you for even putting us in the same neighborhood as Watch Autumn Keto. Yes. Like, she's amazing. The Bambi Hamilton wrote, Hi, Bambi. I have a good hawk story. One day a hawk grabbed a squirrel out of my middle son's front yard and another one jumped up and yanked the first one away from it. Oh my gosh. It's like Wild Kingdom out there. I want to see that. Where's Man, the videotape? I keep saying I'm going to spend some more time outside. We need to do that. There's like a whole I don't amazing... know. We just tried to go to the park and you got attacked by iguanas. That's true. But it was it was interesting. <laughs> it was a different kind of day. And we've had a peacock come up to our front lawn. That and was we were cool. feeding it. That was cool. Um, let's see. Donna Sparrow wrote, Hi, Donna. Now that you bring up the golden ticket, I never even thought about opening all my packages. <laughs> I get them in surplus and I keep them in my cupboard. I guess I need to go check out all my keto Serious, breads. I, I still haven't done that. I am telling you. There could be a whole trip to the Keto Savage compound sitting in my cabinet. I'm telling you, like whoever has one, it, it's just sitting it's in just the cupboard. It's just sitting in their cupboard. I know it. Casey Jacobs Hi, wrote, Casey. I've battled with the scale my whole life and I still do. Rachel, I get it. I literally just can't do it. I definitely don't get on around my cycle, and I honestly only like to get on it once a month. You are beautiful inside and out, and us women need to recognize that beauty comes Thank from you. within. Women compete way too much, but we True. are made to feel like we have to, as well as with all the outside media. We are all beautiful. God created each one of us special, and I truly believe that. I love that. Casey, I believe that too, and I, I think it's really good just to have – you know, women encourage women, you know, not compete. And, you know, like she's saying, we certainly can't compete with a media or, you know, what people are doing, doctrine, photos and stuff. Like, how in the world are you ever going to feel good about yourself if you can only compare yourself to, you know, some unreasonable expectation yeah. in a magazine, right? It's unfortunate, but... Katie Walters wrote, strapless Hi, equals never. Never. Rachel is right. Way too much anxiety waiting for the top to fall. I love this keto on the couch before I head out to work each week. Katie, we love you. Or out of town for the week. Yeah. Uh, Christina Lacutus wrote, a Hi, strapless Christina. bra would be like reliving the shoe incident all over again. They suck, Joe. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> we did not have a shoe incident at, gra I at graduation. I wore Timberlands 
Rachel was gorgeous. Oh, well, thank at you. At the graduation. But I, I was, put a picture up. But I wasn't even thinking about like my outfit. I was thinking about shoes that were going to stay together for the entire ceremony. That was my goal. Uh, Vivid J wrote, the reason this hey, channel Vivid is J. so great is that you take keto so seriously, but you don't take yourself seriously. <laughs> we certainly don't. We do not. <laughs> And your personality and humor come out so well. Keep on, brothers and sisters. Or keto on, brothers and sisters. Thank you. And thank you, Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Susie Catherine wrote. Hi, Susie. Friends forever. Mm, Rachel, yes. this just brought tears to my eyes, and I love that. I thank you guys for so much for the support and the encouragement. Joey, you are absolutely right that Jesus is first and foremost with my husband next and then my son. I love that. Another fantastic episode, and I couldn't be happier for you all. Rachel, my new baby Bassett Fred uh, that you have seen on Facebook is absolutely an absolute mess. What a clown. Love you both. Can we please put a picture of her gorgeous dog up? Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen. Oh my goodness, it is the cutest thing ever. Like, I cannot stop Make looking at it. Make sure you at... send it to me so I don't have to dig through and find it. His little sad eyes. <laughs> he is so, so cute. I can't, I can't stop looking at him. Jennifer Flynn wrote, Hi, Jennifer. I was wondering if you could do a keto no-nos review. Yeah, we could do that. Absolutely. Find a bunch of things, do not eat this on keto. I think we've done something like that, haven't we? I feel like we did some kind of video on like, don't eat this. Like a bag of chocolate covered There's plenty chips. of keto no-nos. We can definitely do another one of those. It's all things that Rachel has learned no-no because yeah, like I learned it the hard way, right? Tara Simpson wrote, I would totally buy the butt nugget shirt. Ha. Huh. Butt nuggets it is. Butt nuggets for everyone. I could just see a bunch of people running around with a shirt with a chicken and eggs coming out of its butt going, fueled by farm fresh butt nuggets. That's our goal, right? To have butt nuggets on a shirt. You better not mention that around church where we're going to have a bunch of little four-year-olds running around saying, farm fresh butt, butt nuggets. nuggets. Oh my gracious. Last one. Mm -hmm. Sherry Long. Hi, Sherry. You guys are great. You're I stumbled great. upon you by accident. And although I don't believe anything is accidental. Aww. You have quickly become one of my you become my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. Thanks for being real with us, sharing your struggles and your success. I love so easy Rachel can do it because I'm not a cook either. High five. I love sparkling water and my favorite is LaCroix. Oh, LaCroix, yeah. I started keto in March and I've lost 19 pounds so far. That is incredible. That's awesome. That is fast and awesome. I had lost a bunch of weight years ago and I kept it off until I had a hemorrhagic stroke oh my gracious. and was put on medication that packed on the pounds. I couldn't bear counting points anymore, so I was thrilled to learn about keto. It has revolutionized my health. Good. Thank you so much for being a part of my transformation. Oh my goodness, Sherry, welcome. And thank you for like letting us be a part thank of your you day. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. Man, that is awesome. And like, what a great you know, beginning to, to that weight loss journey. That's incredible. Yeah. Man. Well, that is all the comments that I pulled out. That's awesome. So I guess that's the end of today's video. High five. High five. I don't know how long it is, but it's under an hour and we have to cut out a bunch of like bloopers at the beginning. We're heading towards a live video, but I still need to be restrained. We have way too many bloopers right now. I know. So. We're working on it. So that is our video. Congratulations to the winners of our giveaways. But everybody's Again, a winner. Everybody's a winner. But we have more giveaways coming, so yeah. don't worry about it. But yeah. for those of you, who, for the two who did win, make sure you send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com so we can send your stuff out. Mm -hmm. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. Bye.